record. All right, welcome everybody, Wednesday morning. Welcome to Success Zone. And uh, for all of you who've been, who've joined us consistently, we it looks like we fixed our little glitch that we had so that everybody could get on now. Um, but we conduct Success Zone every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, for the purpose of uh, really giving people a roadmap uh, on what it really takes to persevere through whatever obstacle or for ever, any opportunity you've decided to take. And, um, you know, there, there's, there's different principles and you know what's gonna what's leading me to um, this particular training is you know thinking back you know over 25 years uh, of being in the industry of network marketing and just different breakthroughs and it always came down to one thing it always came down to breaking out of your comfort zone and uh, I think everybody has a comfort zone. I think people live in their comfort zone. Uh, and the reason why is it's known. Your comfort zone is known, right? Anything outside of your comfort zone is unknown. And this is where fear and doubt comes in. And everybody will usually live somewhere where there has been some type of success. And, um, you know, I, we, have a, um, we have a group that we put together um, in the company that I'm with, and it's a core group. And I, I, to I told the core group, unless you're willing to break out of your comfort zone, okay, this is probably not the place for you. And, you know, some people, um, the heat got too high and they could not handle what it would take to break out of that comfort zone and they have stopped and that's okay because that's their journey because I will tell you whenever you break out of your comfort zone it's gonna hurt it doesn't feel good it puts you in a place of ridicule and a lot of people just can't handle that but if you knew if you knew that's where the money was if you knew that's where the breakthrough had to come from, would you break out of your comfort zone? And a lot of people say, absolutely. If I had a belief, now watch this, a belief in what? A belief in yourself. A belief in yourself, because what's the worst thing that could happen? You fall down? Well, how many times when you were trying to ride your bike, when, they, when your father took off your training wheels, did you fall down? Did it matter? No, you got right back on that bike and you said, you know what? I'm going to learn to ride my bike. I mean, how many of us would can you imagine we were crawling? Remember when we were crawling, right? And you ever see a baby try to stand up for the first time? Their legs are all wobbly. I mean, how many times did a baby fall down, right, when she was trying to walk? But see, these are the little steps. So I, I'm leading you into um, this video I want to play for you. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they, they, <laughs> Lisa, Lisa makes fun, but my, my favorite show on TV has always been Dancing with the Stars, okay? It just, it just is. It, it's, I don't know if you've ever seen the show, but you talk, about, you talk about people breaking out of their comfort zone. You talk about what it takes, right, to never, some people never dance ever in their life, and now they're in front of 27 million people every day or every week. And, and the stories behind that are just heartwarming. But the, the one that's taken the cake is a contestant that is, is part of this season's um, cast. And this is a person who's blind. A blind, a blind contestant on Dancing with the Stars. That's all dancing is, it's visual, okay? So I just want you to play this and then we'll- Season 27. Season 27 of Dancing with the Stars premiered last night and featured its first ever blind contestant. Paralympic skier Danielle Umstead has won three bronze medals despite being visually impaired. And now she's breaking new barriers on the dance competition show. Take a look. Get out. when I 
just witnessed because I think it's a lot more information than we're actually really noticing. Yeah. What you did was spectacular. The way you moved through uncertainty and the trust that I could, like, I think we could all feel the bond between you and Artem, which was so magical. Uh, it, it was, it, you moved as one body. Trust what you're doing. You are going in such a beautiful direction. The question is, do you place limits on yourself or believe anything is possible? Wow. Anything's possible. I mean, especially after watching something like that, you have to believe anything's possible. I never in a million years would have thought we would have had a blind contestant on Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. We've had um, people who are hearing impaired. We have all sorts of imparedies, but mm -hmm. she's... This was unbelievable, because it's a visual sport. Mm -hmm. So watching mm -hmm. her learn how to dance by touching Artem and the whole process, it just, it's so inspiring. Wow. I, kudos to Jenny. So just a glimpse uh, of, of that particular, um, hang on one second here, of that particular episode that we had that was on. But, um, you know, I love what um, one of the judges says, you know, moving through uncertainty. And, and really, guys, that's what we do. And, and a lot of us will second guess, right, what it takes um, to build our businesses or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, you have to leave your comfort zone. And I'm going to go through some of those things that you're going to have to break through if you want to be a network marketing professional, right? And a lot of people, you know, they want the results. They want the results of a professional, but they're only willing, right, to graduate. And, you know, we used this analogy the other day to T-ball. Right. We're not we, we want to be in the major leagues, but you know what? I, I want to stay right here where I know I'm comfortable. But the definition of comfort zone, a situation where one feels safe or at ease. And we've created our comfort zone. Right. And most of us. Right. We talk about this. We've we've all have a hypnotic rhythm and our hypnotic rhythm is usually very comfortable. And anything outside of that, right, anything outside of that, we try to avoid because like in anything, like in anything, when you leave your comfort zone, pain comes. It's two and the same, leaving your comfort zone in pain. Well, most people don't like pain, but you got to break through that pain no matter what that pain for you is, okay? But see, that's what, that's what a comfort zone is. So benefits of moving out of your comfort zone, you will let perfection go. Now, this cuts two ways. Some people want to stay on this mindset that I have to be perfect before I move into my comfort zone. Well, to me, that's called procrastination. You're using perfection Okay, as an excuse not to get out of your comfort zone. Because if you're waiting to be perfect, you'll never move out of your comfort zone. So you gotta be able to identify that for yourself. Do you use that as an excuse? I have to be a perfect public speaker before I do a presentation. I gotta know everything about my product. I gotta go back to school. I gotta become a, a, a nutritional scientist before I could ever, ever go out there and represent this product. Because my people are different. My people are gonna to have to know everything in that product. And my credibility is so important to me. Have you, heard of, have you, have you ever heard yourself say that? Okay, well that's just an excuse not to do anything. That's my opinion. That's not a slide. That's my opinion. Okay. So you got to let perfection go. As soon as you accept this, you will find that you will lose the hesitation that was, that has held you back in the past. You will learn to take risk where, where, where before you would have run. Right. Why? Okay. Because it's just about ready, fire, aim. Ready, fire, aim. No, no, no. We want to ready. We want to aim. We want to fire. Anything wrong with that? No. Only if it's holding you back. I was talking to somebody the other day, 
And, and, and one of the things that we are requiring for anybody who wants to take a next step is you got to do a presentation. And here's what somebody said. They said, I, I've never done a presentation before. I don't feel, listen now, comfortable. I said, well, when the hell are you ever going to feel comfortable if you never do a presentation? It's the chicken and the egg, right? And so you just got to go out there and do it. Who cares? And the person said, no, it's just, it's not something I want to do. And I sat down with the person. I told them my story um, how it was the most painful thing I ever did. I told you guys this story last week. I showed up at the training center and the person that was leading the meeting said, you're doing this. You're doing the globe. Remember my globe, right? Right. Own your own business. That's been around for 25 years, that globe. That's why it always comes with me. It'll always be in my presentations. Why? It was me breaking out of my comfort zone. But listen, it wasn't me. I can't take credit for it. I was forced to do it. Now, I could have walked out. I could have said, no, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm out of here. But you know what? They threw me in front of the room, right? I, I, I got through it, and it was horrific absolutely horrible right I tell it I tell the story all the time I sweat it through my my suit jacket no not just through my shirt through my suit jacket I was soaking wet but it didn't make a difference the presentation that was supposed to be 20 minutes I did it in four minutes because I was so nervous right they said no no Jeff keep going I go no 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 I'm done okay <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Jeff Chiamava. You can own your own business and make immediate income. And you have advancement opportunity, residual income, and you could and you and you have a training team to support you. I'm out of here. But you know what? I did it. Didn't make a difference. Never, ever, ever will I forget that. But see, I had to be forced to do it. I had to let perfection go. So I want you guys to think right now. Something where you need to let or let perfection go. What is it? What what is it? What is it that sometimes holds you back? Okay, and you got to identify it. You got to identify it. the other thing I hated to do. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Everything that was going to make me money, I hated to do. It was amazing. Everything. Well, Jeff, you got to make phone calls. I don't like phone calls. You got to talk to this. You got to talk to people that you know. I don't want to talk to people I know. I want to talk to people. This is me now. I want to talk to people I don't know. Always the opposite of what I had to do is where I lived. You got to do presentations. I don't want to do presentations. You got to do meetings. You got to do the full meeting. I don't want to do full meetings. Everything I didn't want to do is exactly what I had to do to make money. I had to have a breakthrough. So at the end of the day, right, what got me to that point was my desire had to be created. I didn't have enough desires, what was told to me. You're comfortable. Everything is fine if this doesn't work. So you got to create your comfort zone. You got to break out of it. So you got to make your comfort zone uncomfortable. Think about that. You got to make your comfort zone uncomfortable. In other words, whatever it is you do today, if you're comfortable in it, why would you ever break out of it? So how do you make your comfort zone uncomfortable? Start having bigger dreams. Start having bigger dreams. Because wherever you're living now, you're limited. Correct? And if you want more, you got to break out of that. And so that makes your comfort zone uncomfortable because you want to get out of it. Some of you don't want it bad enough, no matter what it is. And that's why you stay in the comfort zone. See, here's the deal. My comfort zone was taken away from me. 
Do you guys know my story? My comfort zone was taken away from me because corporate downsizing took effect on my pay. And they came to me after 14 years of being with Bally Health Clubs, and they said, Jeff, here's your choice. See, what I was doing to everybody else for two years, it finally happened to me. Because here was my job. My job was to let people go, and the people that got to stay had to work twice as hard for half the money. Because we went into a corporate downsizing mode. You ever been through that? Well, I was that guy. I was that guy. So I knew eventually what I was doing to other people was going to happen to me. And the day it happened to me, guess what? My comfort zone became uncomfortable because it was taken away. And so now I was left with what? Now I was left with, I have to find another opportunity. And so I joined Lisa in her network marketing business that I really didn't believe in. And still, and still, when I finally broke away from what was comfortable for 14 years, I still didn't do it. I still didn't do it because it didn't have to work yet. Because remember my story? I had money to pull from. I could still pull it from the home equity line. I, could st I still had a severance package for six months. Right? I still had credit cards that weren't maxed out. Do you see what happens? Do you see how far dug in I was to my comfort zone? So why would I expect you guys not to be living in your comfort zones? See, this is how I talk to people. I'm telling you my story. I promise you some part of this story of me being in my comfort zone resonates with some of you. Because I know some of you are stuck. Well, how do you break out of it? I was forced to break out of it. Because once I got a taste of not being what I thought was comfortable for a period of time, became uncomfortable to think about going back to it. Did you guys follow that? What was comfortable for 14 years, once I got a taste of being away from it, became uncomfortable thinking about going back to it. And so now my comfort zone became network marketing. You got to make your comfort zone network marketing. You got to make your comfort zone talking to people because that's what we do. So all the things that you have to embrace within any type of business, right? You got, you got to embrace all the skill sets. Let perfection go. You're not going to be perfect, but let me tell you what happens when you do. And you won't believe this, but I promise you, you will inspire others. When you let perfection go, you inspire others that want to be inspired. Everybody has this inner feeling that they want more. You become a representative of what it takes to get more. You then will lead others. What you do, what you do is noticed by others whether you realize it or not. People are watching, all of you. And what you do inspires them for growth and change. Now listen, what you do inspires them for growth and change. Just making a decision will inspire them for a short period of time. Now they're watching what you do with your decision. Many people are. And guess who really has to watch what you're doing? You. Only you really, really know what you're doing. You could put on a front for everybody else, but at the end of the day, if you're taking the journey, it will be noticed. It is an inspiration, guys. What you get out of this industry, 
As far as moving people, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. I mean, my, my, my leaders now are stepping up. They're doing the presentations. And I promise you, after they do a presentation, they move others. Sonia, great presentation last night. That was phenomenal. Sonia, loved your, loved your story. I related to that. You know how many times you hear this now? Because you stepped out of your comfort zone? Because they're watching. Sonia is such a good leader. Right? And you see all the praise. Well, that never would have happened if Sonia never stepped out of her comfort zone. Do you guys follow me? It doesn't matter. There's so many people out there that need inspiration. That's what helps them make a decision. That's you. Now you see when I talk about it, and I say it every time I do a presentation, it's not about your product. It's not about your comp plan. I could lead people no matter what I was in. Why? I've inspired enough people. They know I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. And if this is not the opportunity and I move somewhere else, guess what? A percentage will follow. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You need to take on the responsibility to say, you know what? I have something. I have a gift. And you know, you may think this is corny, but it doesn't really matter. This is a gift that you are offering to somebody. Let me tell you the benefits of this gift that I've accepted. Here's the results I've gotten from the product, and here's the results I'm going to get from the opportunity. If you haven't got results, you're going to get them. If you've gotten the results, you share the results. I want to offer this gift to you. Look, it's nicely packaged. I just want you to open it. And just decide what you want when you open it. What do you want? Because this gift I'm going to give you can give you whatever you want. Well, you know what? I really want immediate income. Great. Open the package. Open it. Look at it. There's immediate income in there. Really? Oh, I'm so excited. Now, show them how to get the immediate income. Well, I'm sick of my job. Hey, listen, in, the, in this gift I'm giving you, there's advancement opportunity. Really? Listen, in this gift, it's going to give you the ability to fire your boss. Let me open that one up. That's what we have. You don't realize it. We have a gift. So when you make your decision, realize this. People are watching every day. You're going to inspire others. You need to be authentic. I can see I, I've been here, <laughs> I went through these slides today and I couldn't say this word. I, I, I was practicing before I come on. See, this is me. Before I'm getting on success zone, I'm going through my slides again I, and I've kept practicing this word. I can't say it. Authentic. Authentic. See, I can't say it. Who, who could raise their hand and tell me what this word is? I know what it means. Of course, Sonia can. I'm, I'm Sonia. I'm going to inspire you today, Jeff. Okay? All right, baby. Go ahead. Wait. All right. Go ahead. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. What I'm is too, it? I'm too busy laughing. <laughs> Auth <laughs> authenticity or authentic? Which one are you trying to pronounce? This one. Authentically. Authentically, see, I was or going authentically. Another one. Authentically, okay. Yeah. See, I know what it means. I just couldn't say it. <laughs> see, okay. You will define yourself that word, okay? See, I forgot to say it already. By pushing yourself into new areas, you will have a chance to be authentic, authentic, authentic. Yay, okay. But you gotta define who you are and break free of the limitations, right, of what others think you should be. This is what created your initial comfort zone. 
It was created by what others think you should be. No, no, no. This is what I want to be. And once you define what you want to be, you will find what you're looking for. Always. When have you ever looked for something you didn't find it? Think. If you really wanted something, did you not find it? You're, it's in your mind. You're, I'm going to find this. I don't know what it is. But see, our comfort zone was usually created by people thinking, you have to do this, you have to do that. And somewhere down the line, you became who you are. And if you don't like who you are, guess what you got to do? You got to change. Change requires leaving what? Your comfort zone. You got to define this today if you want to break out of it. Because sometimes you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll hear something, another week will go by, another year will go by. Do you know we're, we're in the fourth quarter of 2018? Do you guys realize that? Where the hell did it go? Oh, my gosh. I, I, was, I, just, I remember vividly January 1st. It's, it's fourth quarter. It's going to be Christmas. It's crazy. See, we think we have all the time in the world. And next thing you do, you wake up, it's five years later. You got to find what you want to be. And you got to believe in the situation that you're in can get you there. If you don't believe that, even change that. I'm going to say that again. If you don't believe the situation you're in is going to get you to where you want to be, you need to change that too. So what? I'm not here to say you got to stay in that opportunity until, in, in, until you die. If you don't believe in what you're doing, you got to change. And I'll say that to anybody because I'll live by those rules too. Right? I, I know where I want to go. I, I'm very well defined. And so don't, 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 don't be... Don't be crazy, right? Don't, I'm just going to dig this out, and you know it's an unsolvable problem. If you're in a situation that is an unsolvable problem, you got to move. If you just try to move because it's not working for you, because you're ignoring what you have to do to make it work, that's different. Do you guys follow me? But if you're in a situation that's unsolvable, then you gotta be, you, you can't be delusional to that. You gotta move on. I, I was talking to, um, well, I'll leave names out, but there's a company out there and one of the leaders of that company said, listen, there's only two reasons I would leave. Number one, they don't deliver the product. Number two, they don't, they stop paying me. Okay, well, both of those came true. He would be delusional to stay there, okay? If, 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 if people go, well, you, you, you should just stay there. No, those are the two things. And now he's moving on. Does that make him a bad person? Absolutely not. But I promise you, it would never come out of that leader's mouth that, you know what, because I have to make X amount of phone calls or do X amount of presentations, Okay, I'm leaving this company. No, that's now, you just don't wanna do the work. You guys know the difference, right? So identify where you're at, no matter what. Believe in what you're doing and put your heart and soul into it. And you will break, through, break, break free of any type of comfort zone and you will gain control. When you step out on your own path, you get to live and work on your own terms. Once again, I was told after three years in the business that Jeff, eventually you got to take control of your business. Because you know, first two years, I really did not much. And the first year I really did something, I was leveraging the system. In the third year, at the end of the third year, I had this conversation with my mentor. And they said, you need to now put together your system. You need to be the system for your team. 
You need to lead your team and stop leveraging the system. Just make sure the team that you're leading, okay, you're still teaching what the company teaches. So in other words, it was time for me to take responsibility for my group. Step out on my own path, put together my own calendar of events. I never competed with the company ever, but I led my team with the company's trainings, the company's presentations. I promoted the company's events, but the buck stopped with Lisa and Jeff. You guys know the difference, right? We led our team. We had our calendar. And, I, and then having a sense of personal control is not only essential for well-being, it lowers stress and increases job satisf satisfaction as, as well. In other words, in other words, I was going to be the reason I am. I was going to be the reason I wasn't. The buck stopped with Jeff and Lisa. That's when I finally knew I really did own my own business. I really did control my group. It was three years in, okay, where I finally, when they finally said, it's time for you to control your group, Jeff. You've gone through T-ball. You, 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 you went to Little League, right? You're in high school baseball now. I should use basketball because I didn't play baseball, okay? And now it's time. You're going to college. It's time to step up on your own two feet and lead. And that's when all of a sudden, right, I started doing the trainings. I had my calendar. I had my own training center. And that's when I said, you know what? Okay, man, this is, this is something that I, it's bigger than I ever imagined. Some of you need to taste that. This is not a little thing. Do you, you, do you all know you're doing the same thing as your company? What's your company doing? Looking for people that want to open up cities, states, and countries. We people franchise. So when you make that decision, you are a franchise. And the difference here is you could bring on other franchise owners. But you need to be the model and show people what it takes to own the franchise. Just because you stroke to check doesn't mean you're going to do well in that franchise. you got to follow the steps, right? You all know this. You give McDonald's $1.2 million, they don't say go run your franchise. They say, no, 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 you can't even think. This is how often you clean the bathrooms. This is how long the fries stay in the grease. This is how long the hamburgers need to be on each side. It's, it's written for you. Same thing here. You will gain control when you make this decision. And <laughs> the experiences that you see are much fuller. The experiences you go through. Leaving your comfort zone can create a tremendous feeling of confidence and self-respect. Tremendous confidence. Now listen, listen, self-respect. Another thing a lot of people are lacking because they know what they do every day. See the self-sabotage for some of us? I can never respect what I was doing. You know why? Because I wasn't doing anything. And I knew it. And when I had to represent myself, it wasn't authentic. I couldn't tell people to go make 50 calls. I never made one. I can now tell people to get in front of the room. I never did a presentation, but I pretend it. And then I always wondered, I was saying the right things, but why isn't it happening? Because people see through you know what. They see through the bull, you know what. They know. But more importantly, you know, as you learn what you are truly capable of doing and creating, which is far greater and more expansive than you have ever dreamed. Why? Because you broke out of the comfort zone. You will find you are most resilient, capable, and courageous than you once believed. And as you rise to these challenges, more exciting ones are waiting in the wings.
And I go back to the blind dancer. Does she have to do that? She wants to persevere through a fear. If you listen to her interview, my biggest fear was dancing. So let's go on Dancing with the Stars in front of 27 million people. What? But you know what? Those challenges will take her to a whole new level. How many people do you think she inspired? Out of the 27 million? Think. How many people do you think who's sitting on the couch, right, in their network marketing business wondering, should I make that phone call? And here's a blind person <laughs> dancing on Dancing with the Stars. It's crazy. It's crazy what we hold on to. And that's because your situation doesn't require you to break through it. That's all. That's all it is. Your comfort zone, you only stay in your comfort zone because you're able to. If you're not able to stay in it, guess what? You're forced to move. That's what most people have to do. They have to be forced to move. It's unfortunate. You would think some people just go, okay, my situation isn't right today. I'm going to change. Who does that? Very few people. You know what? I put on, a, I put on, a, I put on six ounces last night. I'm going to join a gym. No, you got you to gotta gain 60 pounds before you're forced to join a gym. No, you have to have triple bypass surgery before you make a decision to, have to exercise. No, you have to lose your job before you decide to look for other opportunities. Just know that about people. Do you see what I mean about creating the desire within others? You create the desire based on the situation that you know about them so you need to find their situation and then offer them the gift that could change their situation they got to open it they got to like it they got to want it and they got to make those steps you're just giving them the gift that's it that's it that's all you that's your only job you're santa claus 365 that's all you are Offer them what they're looking for. So how do you break out of the comfort zone? Over time, we all gather a set of constricting habits around us. Ones that trap us in a zone of supposed comfort. Well, below what our potential will allow us to attain. Okay, now watch. This is your hypnotic rhythm. This right here is your hypnotic rhythm. Your constricting habits, they'll trap you. Could be your job. Do you have a job? Do you feel trapped? Okay, it's your decision. Well, Jeff, I can't just quit my job. No one's telling you to. But we are telling you to, right? Devote and find the time, spare time, part time, to build something on the side so you can break out of that constricting habit. Pretty soon, such habits slip below the level of our consciousness, but they still determine what we think that we can and cannot do. And what we cannot even bring ourselves to try. As long as these habits rule you, you'll be stuck in a rut. Now, I'm going to say it again. If we allow these habits to keep us where we are, it's because you don't have to break. Something doesn't hurt enough. That's why the average person, something catastrophic has to happen before we break out of it. Don't let that be you. Don't let it be. So you gotta find out what it is is it belief in yourself? And that's normally where you got to go. Understand the truth about habits. They always represent past successes. They always represent past successes. And I could go back to many different examples in my brain, why I do what I do. 
you know, when I'm on, when I'm playing basketball, I remember that I would have the ability to go past the person from my right hand. And guess what I've always done, even today, 30 years later, 35 years later, if I go into a pickup game, I'm always going to go right because I had success doing it. And I always avoided my left. Well, guess what stopped me from going to the next level? Jeff couldn't go left. So everybody played me to my right. They knew I was going to go right. So I was not willing or because it was uncomfortable going left. So I never really perfected going left. That held me back. It was a success going right that kept me there. In other words, a lot of times your strengths will kill you because you live there. You got to go left, some of you. You have formed habits, have habitual automatic behaviors because you once dealt with something successfully, tried the same response next time, and found it worked again. That's how habits grow and why they feel so useful. Another example, as you all know, I go to the gym every day. The number one killer of any type of exercise program, okay, is what? Doing the same thing every workout. You need to shock your system. You need to shock your system. You just can't do the same thing every time. You'll plateau. And a trainer will always say, you got to do this. Try this workout today. No, you stay where it's comfortable. Give up on many of your most fondly held and more, more formally successful habits and try new ways, excuse me, of thinking and acting. You got to break out of what you're doing. If you're not happy with the results, okay, you got to break out of it. Doesn't mean, right, Jeff never went right again, but guess what? The opponent didn't know. If I could go left or right, <laughs> then the opponent had to guess, correct? Well, it's the same thing with your business. There's many different ways to do it. Do something, almost anything, differently and see what happens. Do something, almost anything, differently and see what happens. Some of you just have to do something different, okay? In other words, some of you just have to make the phone call. Some of you have to make the list to make the phone call. I promise you there's still people here that haven't made a comprehensive list. I still believe there's people that, that have a chicken list you haven't called yet or to practice what you need to do to make your business successful. Take some time out and have a detailed look at yourself with no holds barred. This one, this is the one I challenge you to do. This one's tough. Okay, what was it? What is it? What's holding me back? Where did it come from? Identify the source. Remember the fear training? Identify the source of where it, come, where it came from. And then now it should have no more control over you. Right, because you've identified it. A detailed look at yourself is tough. <laughs> it's really tough. I mean, I, thank God my mirror is Lisa. That's my mirror. She has no problem telling me what's wrong with me. <laughs> None. Okay. Very clear with me about what I need to do. Do I like to hear it? I hate it. In fact, there'll always be a, a fight that breaks out first because I'm defending what I know is the truth. Okay, it's a fact. There'll always be a fight first. Then there'll be silence for like seven to 10 minutes. And then I'll usually come around. And it's the same thing with her and me. If, if I'm telling her something, defend first and then you know you're right. Okay, that's, that's just it. 
because sometimes people are very, very upfront. That's what a mentor will do for you guys. Just be careful if you, if you get one, because a good mentor will tell you, right, what you need to do. But more importantly, be who you are. Most people want to please. They try to become what they believe others expect, even if it means forcing themselves to be a, the kind of person they aren't deep down. Now, I'm not going to go here, but I'm going to go here for a second because I think when I say this name, you're going to understand this person is not a people pleaser. Okay? And they're not going to be forced to be the type of person they think that person should be. You guys ready for it? And I don't care, okay, if you're red or blue. But if I said Donald Trump to you, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Now, I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm not, everybody should agree he's not a people pleaser. That's for sure. And everybody keeps saying he's not presidential. He needs to be more. He doesn't care. And I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying be who you are. There's something with be being authentic. I don't care what people think. Jeff, oh my gosh, can you imagine Jeff? couldn't pronounce a word today that's correct no i'm not a perfect speaker but you can't say i'm not who i am that's all i care about don't be a people pleaser just be you but you got to give your chance you got to give yourself a chance to be you most of you haven't given yourself a chance to be who you really are. You're constricted. That's what I love, given a chance to be who you are. Some of you don't know who you are. You haven't reached the potential because you care what other people think. That's the problem. If you accept the truth about the world and yourself, Change whatever is holding you back and get on with a fresh view on life. You'll find that single actions let you open the door of your self-imposed prison and walk free. There's a big, marvelous world out there. You'll see it if you try it. We're limiting. We're so that, that's the one thing I will tell you about this industry. Man, it allows you to see yourself and see others so clearly. That's good and bad. It allows you to see yourself and others very quickly. I could determine very quickly where people are at in their life and what holds them back. And I could try to move them forward if they want to be moved forward. This one person I keep talking about, okay, they didn't want to be moved forward. So guess what I did? I let them know that I know. And I said, this is your journey. I am here to support you if you decide you want to take another step. But I've identified, and I think I have enough credibility with this person, that this is why you're stuck. I was told four times, six times, ten times, Jeff, you got to get in front of the room. Still didn't do it. You got to get, you got to do a presentation. Still didn't do it until they forced me to do it. And I could have still said no, but for some reason I did it. It broke me out of that. Activity. Break out of your comfort zone. One, one of the only ways is activity. What will your life be like in 10 years if you stay within your comfort zone? If you keep doing what you're doing, what if you instead continually expand its boundaries? If you stay where you are, all you got is all you're going to get. But if you accepted an opportunity that could give you unlimited potential, you see how your boundaries expand? Examine your life goals. Will they require you to go outside your comfort zone? Usually, if you have a goal, it's going to be outside your comfort zone. Why do you think only 3% of people set a goal? Why is it 3% of the people usually? are financially independent. 
They set a goal to go outside their comfort zone. There's your secret to success. Or have you limited your goal setting to things that you can do comfortably and safely? I can go right. I know how to do circuit training. Right? Even now, even now I have to break out of certain things. Today, do something outside your comfort zone. Wear a ridiculous outfit, tell jokes, talk to strangers, sing the names of each stop in the bus or train. Sounds crazy, right? Do something outside of it without any care about what people think. I'm telling you, you'll inspire others unless you can't carry a note. <laughs> right? So, that guys I'm, I'm telling you that that was something that i knew for myself it helped me to go to another level because whatever it was there was always something that held me back and the only reason i was held back is because i was allowed to be held back because my situation wasn't in such a disarray that i had to change that was just me until until my situation was dire is when I was forced to change. Now, that's me. Hopefully, you won't have to go through the same thing. Okay? Appreciate all of you. And I will see you. Am I going to be on Friday? Yeah, I'm going to be I'm in Miami. 7. It's 10 o'clock there. Yeah, I'll see you Friday. See you Friday, guys. Bye.